common binomial factor is an important kind of factoring to understand before doing factoring by grouping. If I look at this example and consider the whole x times a minus 1 to be one term, I can see it has a factor of a minus 1. And if I consider the whole 2 times a minus 1 to be one term, I see that it also has a factor of a minus 1. So we're going to factor out this whole binomial the same way we would if it were just a single variable. I'm going to follow a slightly different convention for the order in which I write these factors just because it'll work out a little bit more nicely for the factoring by grouping. I'm going to pull out the a minus 1 and put it on the right hand side. And then if I look back at my polynomial now I can see that what I'm interested in looking at is what I have left after taking out these two pieces. So if I box these out, thinking that I have factored those out, I can see that I have x remaining from the first term and I have 2 remaining from the second term. So the other factor involved is just x plus 2. It would still be correct to write these factors in the other order like we do with GCF in general. However, when we get to four-term polynomials, this is a more standard order, writing the common binomial second and writing the factor that came from what remains of each term first.